I should have made this video sooner, but I didn't. I've been sick. And I had to sleep a lot. And when I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't ready to. I didn't have the focus or energy to work on it. So I'm going to try to get this out as fast as I can. YouTube bad, Mr. Girl. And to me, that's crazy. Obviously, I'm a fan. Obviously, I have some bias. You can figure out which those are, which of the things that I'm saying are biases and which things aren't. That's not really my concern. My concern is to lay out uh, the reasons that I think that it's really bad for YouTube and um, the internet at large to keep Mr. Girl banned off of YouTube. Mr. Girl, overarching, most consistent theme throughout all of his work is empathy. Mr. Girl has advocated for empathy for people that you don't like, people that you hate, people that hate you, even people that want to harm you. He has a large interest in humanizing everybody, in trying to help people see things from the other side, no matter how much we don't like them. And I think that's an extremely important message. And I don't know anybody else that does it as well as him. Uh, there's a, the, the main claim against uh, the channel is that it's unsafe for children. For starters, it's not meant to be for children. I wouldn't say it's unsafe for children by any stretch. But um, some of the songs and some of the satire has been taken deliberately. I have no idea how. It seems pretty obvious to me what's going on. And I think that if uh, anybody at YouTube actually looked at it, they would know too. This is clearly some kind of bot thing. Uh, I'm just worried about the doubling down. Mr. Girl, more than any creator that I've ever seen, has sort of made it a mission to make uh, the platforms that I use and that he uses uh, safer for children. He abdicates for um, stricter rules on Discord and YouTube. And um, it's like Snapchat, TikTok, he's abdicated against all these things. He is also the only creator that I've ever seen actually talk to real experts in how we can better protect children against cyber crimes. We are here with Sergeant John Pizzuro. Am I saying that right? Yep, it's uh, retired, uh, retired uh, Internet Crimes Against Children Commander John Pizzuro. Retired Internet Crimes Against Children Commander John Pizzuro from uh, New Jersey, right? That's correct. Okay, so, um, uh, so I'm doing a kind of research project about um, perceptions of crimes against children, perceptions about pedophilia, um, kind of the, the um, difference between the way it's sensationalized and how we talk about it and the reality of it. And um, I, I guess I was most interested in speaking to you uh, just to give us kind of like a picture of um, a realistic view of like what, what is happening with crimes against children on the internet uh, now. And um, I guess any ideas uh, you have about what to do about it, I'd like to pick your brain about too. I guess I'm saying, I think that's kind of what we should be doing as streamers is, is trying to point out like this, because a lot of streamers play kids games, you know, like if you're a Minecraft streamer, you're going to have fans that are eight year olds. Yeah. And up. Yeah. And, and to your point, it's, it's kind of like one of those things. It's, it's strange in a way is because if you were looking back in our time and you look at a playground and we're 12 and there's a 40 year old around us, right. You'd you know, be like, what the fuck? <laughs> right. And, and yeah. now it's acceptable for a 40 year old when they're on a 12 year old, if they're playing a game. Right. So I think, and to your point though, I think that's actually very good. Uh, if you're able to get people to a public aspect where they have to show who they are, I, I mm -hmm. think that keeps people honest, right. Related to them. And he's putting that information out there like no one else is. And he has an audience who's willing to listen to it too, which I think makes a pretty big difference. Um, in addition to making things uh, safer for children, he's also put out the best video I've ever seen, uh, advocating uh, to women how to say no. I think that it's, uh, it's essentially a PSA. I've showed it to every woman that I know. I've showed it to my child. I think everybody needs to see it. It's a very good video uh, and it's, produced in a way that's very digestible for anybody. We're losing that when the channel gets banned. Other than that, he's also had a consistent pro-vaccine stance 
during the entire pandemic. And he has set a great example for being safe during COVID as well. He is an anti-conspiracy theorist. I know YouTube doesn't like that. Well, say they don't like that. Uh, doesn't even entertain any kind of conspiracy theory talk, shuts it down immediately, won't discuss it. Just on the premise that it's a conspiracy theory. Um, he encourages his audience in times like these to not harass people that are or viewed or are to be viewed as responsible for uh, things like this happening to him. During all this, he has not once asked his audience to retaliate for it. And even when he's had conflict with people, um, he's never wished harm on them. And when he did find out at one point in time that some members of his audience were being um, less than great to another creator, he very quickly changed the rules and how it's handled within his community to discourage this from happening. When it comes to responsibility and platforming, uh, I think Mr. Girl is exceptionally uh, good. I think that he does a really fantastic job of um, safely interacting with his audience and other people. Uh, well, other people on the platform. Um, his messages seem to be so good that uh, not only can he consistently get people to call in back when he did Advice and Confessions, uh, but now on his hotline show, he also had somebody uh, reach out to him, risking their job to do so, to help him with a project that he was doing. Because the subject matter would have um, bad consequences for the person they reached out uh, based on how their job would view them doing that. That takes somebody of real character to reach out like that. Or it takes somebody of real positive character to get somebody to reach out and risk that. You got to be doing something good. Mr. Grill is also extremely anti-drug. And I uh, don't, don't see how that's anything negative for YouTube to keep up either. Um, <laughs> and I would say probably more than anybody else that I know, uh, while well, he's not perfect at it, he consistently works towards making the space that he's existing in on YouTube less vile by trying not to talk about other content creators uh, when they're not present. Um, he does his best to acknowledge and um, lessen any parasociality, despite the fact that that would cost him money to do so. When there's less parasociality, there's less money coming in. And he still does it. It seems pretty clear that this is a result of a mass flagging campaign um, by Nick Fuentes. Yeah, you listen for two seconds, flag it and retreat. Uh, somebody that Mr. Grill has uh, been talking about a lot this week about why he thinks that while other people should interact with this person, but they should do it in a responsible manner. It appears that Nick didn't like this and uh, has encouraged his followers to mass report Mr. Grill's videos. And again, if YouTube really has a problem with uh, something Mr. Grill's doing, I think they need to do it in a way that doesn't say, uh, all three of your strikes happened over a year ago and now you're done. The purpose of having strikes is to let people know that there's something wrong, give them a chance to fix it, and it gives you a little bit of room to make a different mistake later on. This didn't happen in this case. Even if YouTube has a real problem with Mr. Girl, I think it's fair to say that he didn't get his fair shake of being able to correct the mistake. It doesn't seem like that's how this is supposed to work. It doesn't seem like that's how three strikes are supposed to go. Right before I started to record this, I rewatched the first advice and confessions, the first time I ever talked to Mr. Grill. And uh, the advice that he gave me was really good, and I still think it helped to hear it today. Um, and I took that advice, and it was the best advice I've ever taken. He doesn't do that. Uh, advice and confession show anymore, but he still puts out positive messages that can have a real 
positive effect on the people that watch. And I think that is important. Aside from any of the free speech arguments, everybody's already making all those. It's not really what I'm interested in making the case for right now. The case that I'm trying to make is that he's a good person, the very least on camera. He's doing good things with his content. And I genuinely think that he's making this space a better place and he's making uh, the world a better place by making the people that interact with his content more empathetic, uh, more considerate, and more informed. So please, YouTube, unban Mr. Girl. It would be uh, a really bad message to send, I think, to creators in the future uh, about how easy it is to get banned receiving three strikes in one day. Please reverse the decision. Thank you. I try to spit the truth, chop it up, and I post it. I do the shit for you, pop it on when you're hopeless. When no one wants to hold your hand or fondle your cock, and you're 36, oh, that's my biological clock. It says it's time to be a rapper. New package, same ingredients, rap till they believe in it, Max. Don't get lenient, you say I abuse Shaylin. It's not like I'm choking the bitch, but she says she can't breathe. I guess I'm a chauvinist. Ah, I've been fucking 25 year olds for a decade. Word to EDP, hell yeah, I want that cupcake. The, what my parents always tell me is like, you know, yeah, he's violent, but like, I don't think he would ever actually do anything. He would. Um, yeah. <laughs> people do people people do horrible things all the time. I guess I, I guess I'm torn because I'm like the best thing for your brother is family therapy. Right. The best thing for you is probably to escape. Yeah, that's 100 percent what I like want to do. Um, uh. And yet you feel my, paralyzed my, by panic. Yeah. My girlfriend has an RV in her yard that her grandma was living in that she doesn't live in anymore. And Bro, I've kind of been like contemplating. I would go tonight if it were me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Seriously. Only problem like, is if you think I... your life is in danger, then like, like, yeah, you'll freak out. You'll have a panic attack. You'll throw up. But like eventually you'll like there's you, your body only has so much adrenaline in it. Like you, right. you can't freak out for that long. Right. I, I don't know. I would make some kind of plan with your with your therapist about how to escape. And if you have a free RV, you can live in for a while, where you're not going to feel like you're in danger of getting murdered at any moment. That I don't know. That sounds. Yeah, I I, I understand that it would be extre You would be in extreme psychological duress. So definitely plan this out with your therapist. But, right. um. I think getting out of actual physical danger sounds pretty good. Too. Because. That's, I mean, this should be possible too. Yeah, I, I, that's. I would. I suggest you get in a room with, with somebody who can help protect you. All right. Well, I I, I think I will take your advice and. Um... I, look, I know we, we're like way over here. I, I'm one of those guys. I'm similar to. No, it's fine. I'm just saying, like, I'm on the other side of a screen. It. I'm on the other side of a screen right now, and I, I feel that, and this is not therapy. Obviously, this is like a, a, a call-in entertainment show where you, right. we, you're, being exploited for entertainment. To some extent, yeah. Trying to, to put extent. that aside as much as possible, though, you know. I understand. I, I and I am. I am trying to connect with you, but I'm telling you that, like, I, I very strongly like you are super guarded, and the, I don't. I just don't think you need another fucking barrier between you and the therapist. So I see. And the I would, the internet connection like, it serves as that. I, I see. Yeah, it's 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 keeping you from. It's just another thing keeping you from like yourself. So I would, yeah, get your booster I, I or, or get uh, yeah. vaccinated or whatever, and then go get that, in that a room with true. a therapist. 
if you can. Mm-hmm. Hi, man. I really appreciate your time. I mean, you you have no idea. Maybe you do. But yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, t- take care and keep keep doing what you're doing. And just like to anyone out there who isn't donating, like, I don't know if you guys are aware of this. This gentleman has quit his job to like do this for you all. So like if you, you know, a few bucks a month, like help, help, help him out, keep him going. That's, and that's unprompted obviously. But, um, I just want, I, yeah, I, I want you to keep being able to do this, man. I really do. Thank you. Yep. I will take Have care of yourself. You too. Look elsewhere and figure things out. And I'll look back at this uh, at the VOD and see, like, uh, you know, in a better state of mind. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Thanks for calling in. Answers to your questions lie in your past, not in your future. I also think you should go okay. to therapy for this reason. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, a hundred percent. Go to therapy. Yeah, yeah. I already know right? that. Like, <laughs> you, need, you need you need help. Um, yeah. Or like advice. Like, you seem like you are monitoring and maintaining other people's boundaries for them, particularly women. And if you want to stop doing that, I think you should go to therapy before you snap. I'm I'm actively working on that. Well, great. His hope was to remind the world that fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, then I would suggest that you allow the 5th of November to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me one year from tonight outside the gates of Parliament, and together we shall give them a 5th of November that shall never, ever be forgotten. talking about my shit in the call-in room waiting room they just wanted to talk to you they stole my ideas it's a travesty especially his fucking what's his name it's tyler oh. what the fuck tyler's oh god he's delusional tyler's a del- <sighs> tyler is a delusional asshole okay well thank you for calling i appreciate your uh, concern for my success 